here in the imaging studios after installing Namjoon Pike's untitled piano work from 1993. And we're celebrating the moment of a completion of a two-year conservation project. This work is either a conservation nightmare or a conservation dream. It has every problem it could possibly have for a video sculpture. Some of the elements are either not functioning or wouldn't be functioning soon in the future. The sculpture consists of an upright piano modified with a player piano unit. I looked at the piano and realized the piano itself is in need of repair. They recommended a firm that they authorized. He took one look at it and said, this piano is in terrible shape. The keys are peeling up, the hammers are coming off, there are parts that are worn out. We went through a very detailed condition assessment. Some of the hammers and some of the elements that were wearing away, we did repair and replace them. Fifteen different television sets mounted on top and on the side and on the floor next to the piano. We contacted CTL Electronics down on Canal Street. The owner, C.T. Louie, used to work with Namjoon Pike. He has a good understanding of what Pike would want in replacing CRT technologies. Uh, one of the things we wanted was to obtain a complete backup set, so we did that. The television sets play four different video feeds. Two of the video feeds come from the security cameras. In addition, there's a spotlight. The two other video channels come from laser discs, which are mounted on the floor and these laser disc players are playing videos that Namjoon Pike made. One of them is a video of his mentor, John Cage, with images of Merce Cunningham, and the other is sort of an abstract video of piano keys moving. When we acquired the work, the two video streams ran on umatic tapes. When it was installed at MoMA, the artist was here, and he authorized migrating the laser disc. We did migrate the laser disks so we now have them on uncompressed QuickTime files. In the future, MoMA staff is going to have to make a big decision. The piano is operated by originally a floppy disk drive, five and a half inch floppy disk drive. We replaced that with an MP3 player that's mounted in back of that. I signed the work on the last two piano keys he actually signed uh, his name in the date, so that makes it all the more special. The installation took place yesterday. Fortunately, we have really good documentation. Many photographs of the work from its prior installations, detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to install the work, and I'm sure Namjoon Pike would be laughing at us because when he originally installed it, it was just haphazard. The wires were hanging on the sides, and but we wanted to get them right. Because he was a performing artist, because he was a fluxus artist, he incorporated chants. What we do now isn't what he would do if he were alive, and yet we're challenged with trying to make decisions that would somehow be in keeping with, with his intentions. I was worried that we wouldn't be able to show it in the future since it's dependent on these technologies that go obsolescent over time. And just seeing it all together after these two years of work is really exciting for me. It's just gratifying to, to see it and to hear it and to be able to celebrate this moment.